Heavenly Father, we thank you for what you are doing with us on this network. Thank you for the life you are helping us to affect. Thank you for the destiny you are helping us to prepare every day. Thank you, Lord. And as your word goes out today, may it brighten somebody's light somewhere in the name of Jesus. Praise God. Welcome again to another time with God on the glorious morning shower. I believe the Lord is helping you with this platform to have a glorious day. Praise God. The word for today is charge yourself with enough word. Waking up every day in the morning Among other things you ensure to be in place is to have your telephone charge, your handset charge, so that you don't run out of communication as you go out. How do you feel going out in the morning with a phone at 10% charge, 10% battery charge? You will not be comfortable in case you run out of battery. Same thing with your airtime. What do you do? You say you, you, you recharge your credits so that you don't run out of communication. Now, you go out every day with all these things put in place, but the most important thing about your life is not charged. And God said, I should tell you this morning that that could be the reason why the devil is defeating you in so many battles of life. That is why the devil can easily play with your mind, play with your emotion, play with your feelings. Why? Because there is no enough war to counteract the other world coming. You are deficient in world. Getting myself equipped with enough world of God has helped me to overcome so many emotional trauma. And I know that today, as that same world is coming your way, you too will overcome. Our anchor scripture today is from the book of Proverbs, chapter 26, verse 20. It says, Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth out. There must be wood for fire to keep burning. For those of us that were brought up in the village, even the Luca firewood and that three stone where we put, we cook on, if the fire is going down, what do you hear people say? They say, Put enough wood. So you are not able to overcome some challenges because you do not have enough wood to burn upon the altar of your life. Comparing that scripture with the word of God in Leviticus chapter 6. Verse 12, it says, The fire upon the altar shall keep burning. It must not be allowed to go down. And the priest must put wood every morning. 
and he compared these two scriptures. He said, the fire upon the altar must keep burning. And where is the altar? The Bible says, our body is the temple of the living God. So your life is the altar of God. When you wake up every morning, just dash out to the day when you have not put enough wood. You see, every morning, like we are doing now, every morning, let the priest do work. Put enough wood. Keep putting enough wood. Because anything that is being used must go down. Anything that is being used must go down. So there is a need for refilling, refilling, refilling. Let us keep refilling our life. Because every day comes with its own particular challenges. And capacity to withstand these challenges lies in the enough wood to keep burning. So I charge you with this word today. Get yourself burning every day. Get yourself burning every day. Put enough wood. Keep, in, keep putting enough wood. The first word God gave us on this platform at the beginning is what? Having a word bath. So you can use the word to bath. According to the book of Ephesians. Having a word bath. Purified by water by the word. Purified by water by the word. I challenge you in the name of Jesus Christ that as this war comes your way this morning and keep, keep coming your way every day, may you not escape the ability of this war to turn your life around in the name of Jesus. Let this word make a meaning to you. Let your life get on fire. Get on fire for Jesus. Get on fire burning every day to be able to confront the challenges confronting you every day of your life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Don't forget the two words God gave us today. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth down. Proverbs 20, 26. Where no wood is, there the fire goeth down. Leviticus 6 verse 12. And the fire upon the altar must not be allowed to go down. But the priest must keep putting the wood every day. These two scriptures is talking about the wood. And the wood is the wall. The wood is the wall. So go with the word today. When the devil come against you, challenge him with the word. That was what Jesus used to overcome him in the wilderness. It is written. It is written. It is written. Three times. And the devil ran away. There is nothing that puts the devil to run like the word. So get yourself equipped every day with the word. Don't go out any day of your life without having a word bath. Don't go out any day. So that the fire upon the altar of your life must keep burning in the name of Jesus. Let us pray. Father, we thank you for your word to your people today, this morning. I pray in the name of Jesus that this word that has come their way today, brighten their day, blessing them, charging them every day in the name of Jesus as, you are, as they are going out today. Let anything waiting to confront them today become a flat ground in the name of Jesus for them to walk upon. Let there be enough word to serve as a shock absorber to absorb every attack from the pit of hell in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen.